finished animating your movie in Photoshop, the next step is to import it into iMovie. What you're going to do is click on iMovie. Once iMovie opens, you're going to import or add your movie. Make sure you've saved your movie as an MP4 file. To import your movie, simply click on the Import button up above. Find your file wherever you saved it. Mine's on the desktop. Click on it and say Import. The next step is you're going to create a new movie. You're going to go File New, Movie. Make sure that you have no theme selected. Go Create. And you're going to title the movie with the name of the song and which number of the group you are. One, two, three, or four. In this case, Keala is group number three. Then you're going to say OK. Now that you have your movie made, you're going to drag your clip down two times. One and two. The first one, in order to change the speed, you click on it to select it. Make sure it's all highlighted in yellow. Click up here where they have this little speedometer. Where it says speed, click slow. Now, your clip should be longer. Go to the next clip and you're going to do two things. Make sure you're on the speedometer where it says speed up here. You're going to first start by making it slow motion. Next, you're going to click reverse. That's it. So now to check our work, we're going to click play. And what you should notice is that your picture is zooming in and then zooming out and it's in slow motion. In this case, this is now 20 seconds. So your two things, you're first making your movie in slow motion. The second thing you're doing is you're making it in reverse. So back to back. Okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-import or save this movie. So you're going to go File, Share, File. You want to make sure your title is correct, Heinoa no Poahi, this is just the third group member, and quality high, resolution 1920 by 1080, and you're going to say next. It's going to ask you where will you save it. Save it to the desktop. Save it. Here it is. It's still converting. It may take a little bit of time. And once it's done, you're going to add it to the Google Classroom in order to turn it in. And that's it.